You can't see me. Hey guys! Okay. So you guys are going to see my hands. I'm going to talk to you and you'll see my hands. Different angle. Different angle. I can't see if I'm talking to you. Um, I have an issue. I have a lot of pellets. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a declutter series, so uh, you'll see my hands, so I'm going to go off camera so I can uh, not look so odd. Anyways, um, I have way too many palettes. I mean, there's a lot of palettes, and I need an intervention, um, but wait, there are more palettes. Um, so the holidays really didn't help, and, um, yeah, I need to go through these. Um, I probably have probably about a hundred palettes, <laughs> and, uh, we're going to go through and see what I have, and, um, declutter. You guys have talked to me before about decluttering, and I didn't declutter on video, so now I am. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I need to really windle these down to the ones I'm not really using. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some really hard... You guys, let me grab this camera. So much better. Ah, you can see my background. So um, there's a lot that I need to go through and get rid of. And then there's a lot I probably should not be keeping, and there's some that you might surprise, because I kind of looked at some of these, only because I need, I was going through them looking for the, um, this divided them from blush palettes and contour palettes and eyeshadow palettes, and these, if I got them all correct, are all eyeshadow palettes. So, um, hopefully you guys like my setup. I have my ring light over here, so I'm sorry if it's doing a shadow. Um, but these are going to be my eyeshadow palettes. So if you're interested in seeing me declutter some, I know I'm going to move some of these into like my pro kit. Um, but really who needs 15 different neutral palettes? Probably me, but yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put you back down so you can see. I'm trying to dwindle these down to about half. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the top one. Um, I'm going to definitely keep this one. This is the Kat Von D uh, La Vida Loca. This was the um, holiday set. Of course it's never been touched but I love these colors. Another one that I'm going to keep is going to be this one right here. This is the Too Faced 2014 Christmas one. Um, I've used this. You could see a little bit of use on the eyeshadows. The Lorac Pro. I'm going to definitely keep this one. This one actually is well loved. Um, as you could tell it's got pan hidden on three, four of the shades. I'm going to keep these two. I haven't even played with these. It's the Vice 4. Again, um, I have definitely touched base on this a little bit. Not a lot, but I've touched base on it a little bit and used it. It's super, super pretty. This is the limited edition. It says Beauty with an Edge. So I don't know what that means, but this is the Vice LTD. Um, palette and again it doesn't look too used but I have used it. This is maybe the Vice 3 palette. Uh, not exactly sure. Mark Jacobs. This is the Free Spirit number 224. The Free Spirit style icon number 20. This was a Christmas one. Oops, I did it's update on. Um, this was Christmas back in 2015. Um, this was the very first one that they came out with, and I absolutely love it, and this is what that looks like. So pretty. So, so expensive. Um, I splurged on this one. This is the 
Lolita. Um, I have hit almost pan on three of them. Um, this shade in the middle is really sparkly and a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's pretty. It's a good topper. This is the Lorac Pro number two. Um, I don't use this one as much. I know I've already finished the Lorac one up, but I love, love, love the blue. The Urban Decay Full Spectrum or Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. I like this one. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. Um, you can kind of see there I've dipped on the sides of, what is that, um, Burn in Daybreak, which is the bottom ones on the bottom. These two, um, I've made a pretty good dip on that one. You can see a little bit on that one. What else am I keeping? The Hourglass. Um, this is called the modernist infinity um this is what that looks like Bartlett. um i've used this a couple times it doesn't really look like it but i have used it um this is what that looks like definitely gonna definitely love this and gonna definitely use this Too face door eyes this one was actually a gift from someone. Um, the funny thing about this is it's the same colors as the eyeshadow eyeshadows that I panned before. Um, my first pan that palette chain challenge. I'm pretty sure that this is the same colors. The Too Faced Cat Eyes. This is um, one that you can wear wet and dry. I'm gonna declutter this one. The Too Faced Rock and Roll. Um, again, this is almost similar to the other one, the Cat Eyes one. Very, very similar. Um, it's got really cute packaging and everything, but I don't think that's something I should keep it in my collection for. So, um,. I think I'm going to move this out of my collection as well. So that's two. L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and 2. I think I'm going to move that out of my collection. Same with the number one. These were not all... I mean, they're good. Like, half of them's good. But then half of them is not pigmented. So I'm going to move those out of my collection. Buxom. This is the customizable one. I've customized this around the holidays of 2015 and these are all shades that I absolutely love. Um, I swatched all these in the store so I know what they look like so I'm going to keep that one. Ila, um, Eyes Are the Window Shadow Palette and this is in Soul. This is what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. This is actually my last Stila palette that I actually own so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Maybelline The Smokes. Um, I had really high hopes for a lot of these palettes. I gave away most of them when I did my last declutter and this one was the only one I really kept but I think because this one really doesn't wow me. Um, I'm going to move it out of my collection. Smashbox. This is the On the Rocks. This was a couple Christmases ago. I've really been enjoying this. I've actually been using this a lot. So I'm going to definitely keep this one. Neo Pearl Eyeshadow Profusion. And I don't think I've ever used this. I haven't even swatched it. So I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to move this out of my collection too. LA Colors um, Palette. These have really good pigmentation. Kind of torn. I really, really, really like these colors. I'm gonna move it out of my collection. This is the Fergie Center Stage Collection Photo Focus Eyeshadow Quad. Um, I'm going to pass that along. The Eyes, Lips, Face um, palette. I have not opened this up and I'm not going to keep it. Stardust um, Vegas Nay palette. I've used it a few times, um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to use this because 
pigmentation just is not there like most of the photos show. As you can tell, it's been used quite a bit. Uh, well, not quite a bit, but I've used it. So I'm gonna still, I'm gonna keep this and still work on it. The Morphe palettes. Um, we have the 35-0 and the 35-B. Out of the two, I'm going to this one. I'm gonna pass that on or sell it or something. Um, put it on my Instagram. I don't know something so I'm gonna pass that on and I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have a lot of oranges but I have a lot of dark colors so this is a Z palette that I made and put all kinds of different things in I think there's like a Milani um, and then uh, this is Milani eyeshadow and then these are like um, essence and then I think this is like a blush or something I'm not exactly sure I'm not gonna touch it I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to take these out and put in the Morphe palette and give it to a friend. MAC palette. Um, this is a bunch of MAC shades that I put together. And, you know, I'm just not digging MAC eyeshadows. Like, they don't really... I don't know. Like, they don't call out my name, so... I'm going to pass this on Wet n Wild, um, what is this one? This is the Comfort Zone palette. I don't know if I even, oh yeah, I did. I swatched it. Um, super, super pretty, um, but I have eyeshadows like the one that I wanted, which is this one right here. Um, so I'm going to declutter that one. The Makeup Forever, these are three palette, three eyeshadows that I put together myself. Um, this is the purple color that Jaclyn Hill um, made so popular and um, she did some kind of purple smoky eye. Went and purchased it, spent a lot of money and just haven't used it. So I'm going to keep this one. Tarte Amazonian Rainforest After Dark Cheek Cheek? No, um, Rainforest After Dark um, I was super excited to get this and I really really like the colors in there um, I like this color right here for the fall so I'm going to keep this one Lorac Queen Princess and Countess I don't think I have any more but this looks like this. Um, these are just individual palettes um, with different shades in each one. Um, I have colors just like these, so I'm going to pass these on. The Revealed 2 palette. Um, this is basically a dupe for the Naked 3, I think. Um, I like this a lot, but I'm going to move it out of my collection. The Revealed One, I'm going to move this out of my collection as well. These eyeshadows by e.l.f. These are, um, like the Prism eyeshadows. Super pretty. Um, this is in Smoke. Right here, this is in Smoke. This one is in Naked. Right here, naked. And this one is in Sunset. Um, so all three of those, super, super pretty. Um, but I just never reach for these. And so I'm going to pass those on as well. Naked one and basics one and two. Um, so I think I've just swatched these. I don't think I've ever used them. Um, this one has never been used. This is the Naked 2. And this has been swatched and this is the Naked 1. I'm going to pass those along as well. Selection of eyeshadows. Um, I have no idea, like, is that a MAC shade or? Oh, this is YDK. Um, Urban Decay, um, and think this is like prestige, but 
Um, I'm going to find out which ones are which and go through these. I'm probably going to keep most of these. So we're just going to keep these in the heat pile. The Kat Von D Shade and Light. This is a love-hate relationship. Um, I like them to a point. I need to work with it. Um, but when I look at this, I'm like, eh, I'm not a fan. But um, they are pretty. It is a pretty palette. And I just need to work with it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. The Skylark by Ellen Blair. Um, this was my first YouTuber palette that I ever bought and I've used it a few times. It's pretty, but it's not my favorite. So I'm going to pass this on. It's Judy palette. Um, it's Judy time palette, the BH cosmetics. I've never touched this. Um, again, this is something that I have plenty shades of. It doesn't spark my interest. So I'm going to pass that along with Urban Decay, Oz, the great power before. I was so scared to use this because I didn't want to use it up, but I'm going to um, start using this. It's got a little bit of a dip in this one, and I don't know what shade that is, but um, super, super pretty if you haven't seen it. Um, but I like it a lot, and I'm going to keep this one. It's the Tarte. What is this one? Um, Away We Go. This has a probably an old mascara I need to throw away, but it's got a um, travel palette and you just kind of like open it up and you pop in one of these um, like eyeshadow things. Um, I kept this pretty clean. I don't think I've ever used it and if I have I may have swatched it but everything still says Tarte on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually oh yes yeah, so what you do is you just take and you've got the names of the thing there so you just take out one of these little palettes and you pop it into this one which is cool if you're traveling a lot um but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually <clears throat> pass this on probably not with the mascara because it's probably old um but that's going to go to to balm eyeshadow i wanted this for so so long I used it once and um, really only used like this color right here, but I'm not really a fan of it, so I'm going to pass that on as well. Electric Palette by Urban Decay. I love this thing. I've used this um, all over the place, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. Lorac Gold and just the Lorac. The Lorac Gold looks like this one. Um, super pretty and then this one looks just like this is like so powdery to clean this I love both of them um, I've done a tutorial on um, using these as well so I'm going to keep both of those the Lorac Pro metal um, I don't think I've ever used this and oh I think I have um, the rose gold one it's super pretty um, I'm really torn. I really like it. Um, I'm going to keep it. Tarte um, Energy Nor palette. This is what that looks like. It's got some pretty purples. It's got a blush and um, I really like the combination so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep the palette wet and wild um i like this a lot but i have uh, what is this one this is called the camouflage couture i really really like it but i think i need to let it go this is the smashbox and this is the wonder vision mega palette and i don't know why but it just doesn't shut all the way um, anyways, so it's quite a cool looking little thing. It's got some blushes. So here's some blushes and then here's eyeshadows and it's got these little cards right here that teaches you how to do like different looks. So um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pass this on as well. I have two Tarte 
quality palettes maybe. This is another one of those Away We Go ones. I don't think I've ever, oh I may have swatched it. Um, I mean I love Tarte but I can only have so many so I think what I'm going to do is pass it on. This is another one. This is the Bloom collection. Um, it's just super pretty. This one's got a little crack in it but I need to, I need to let it go. It's the Too Faced Sugar and Spice palette. Love these colors. Um, I've used them a few times. It's a cute packaging. Very slim. Um, so very slim. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Tarte eyeshadows that came out Christmas 2015. But I don't love it. So I'm going to pass this one on. The one from that set. Um, keep this one from that set is this one. It's like the rose gold one. Um, I like these colors as well, so I'm going to definitely keep this palette. This is the Lorac Pro to go. What I need to do is actually let this one go as well. So a Lorac little mini eyeshadow um, quad or three pan. Pass this on to someone else. It Cosmetics. This was gifted to me. And so I probably will not sell this, and I'll probably just move this into my pro collection. Pulp Fiction. I'm going to keep this one. Moat palette. I have another one I'm going to keep. So this one has got to go. Poppy Picnic Tart um, Special Limited Edition. This will be good for the springtime. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to keep this. Tart Aqua. What is this? Aqua Lilies Tarts. Tarte, Aqua Lilies for Tarte. Um, this is such an old palette, but it's such a pretty palette. I have not used it. Um, you can still see it says Aqua Lilies on it. So pretty. Um, I'm going to keep it. Physician's Formula. I don't know what these are called. Um, I something. I'm going to move these out of my collection as well. The Disney Dare to Dream Eyeshadow Quad in Sea Witch. Move this out of my collection. A Makeup Geek Special Edition uh, Z Palette. I could tell right there. This is all of Makeup Geek's eyeshadows. Um, I've not played around with these very much, so I am going to keep this because I want to use these more. Um, there's like the Prism ones. I think that's what it's called. Um, these are the what are these called? I don't know. Like like the prism eyeshadows or something like that. Um, and they're super pretty. So what one is this one? This is Grandstand. Oh, these are the foiled eyeshadows. So I'm definitely going to keep those. Uh, Mercier Eye Artist. Eye Art. Eye Artist Palette. I'm going to keep this one. I am going to keep it and work with it. The Naked 3 is I'm going to take this out of my collection. Same with the Naked 2. This one was my favorite and you can tell I've hit pan on quite a few but I've got some singles already and I've got some of these other ones already in other palettes. So this one's going to move out of my collection. Same with the Naked one. Um, I hardly ever use this. So, But the Naked Smoky is not. Naked on the run. Um not impressed so I'm gonna move this out of my collection as well I love the packaging you guys but I need to move it out of my collection full exposure oh my gosh you guys I don't know what it is but I don't really like this as much so I'm gonna move this one out of my collection as well the Too Faced chocolate bars this is the original one um, you can tell right there pretty colors and then the other one, which is this one, which is semi-sweet, um, I've hit, like, my nails into things, and so, yeah. Alright, so this one, um, I like as well. So I'm going to keep these two because I don't have any neutral palettes anymore because I kind of just got rid of them. So I'm going to count these up here and we'll see how well I did. I'm going to go with the ones that I'm keeping. So we got one, two, three, four.
ones that I am passing on. So let's go ahead and start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, so it's not looking good, guys. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, So I kept breaking ones. 41. I um, passed on 43 of them. So that means I had a total of 84 pallets. So that is my declutter for my pallets. Oh my gosh, I need intervention. <sighs> okay, so. We will move on through the rest of my collection and hopefully you guys are enjoying this. All right. Bye guys.